Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the reduction oxidation reaction between ammonium nitrate and zinc. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using ammonium nitrate. I'm using fine zinc dust. I'm using ammonium chloride as a catalyst. A drop of water, a crucible, because this gets really hot on a ring stand, and a welding blanket. Begin by measuring three grams of ammonium nitrate. Next measure about three grams of your zinc powder. Next, start mixing the two reactants together. And now you're ready to add just a very small amount of ammonium chloride as a catalyst. And you're just gonna mix this with your reactants. For the larger crystals, I would break them up until you have a nice, fine powder. Now you're ready to transfer your mixture to a crucible. Make a little divot right there in the middle for a drop of water. This is an exothermic reaction. It's gonna produce a fair amount of heat as that zinc is oxidized. Okay, now we're ready to add just a drop of water. Watch what happens. You might remember that ammonium nitrate is a key ingredient in fertilizer and was responsible for the giant explosion in Beirut, Lebanon on August 4th, 2000. So nearly 23 years ago in Beirut, Lebanon, tons of ammonium nitrate had been stored for several years and eventually got moist and reacted and uh, caused a huge explosion that killed 200 people and made a shockwave that rolled cars over two kilometers away. Absolutely unbelievable. So what's going on in this amazing exothermic reaction is you start with the reactants zinc, Z-N, and ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. And when those reactants are carefully mixed and water is added, along with a little bit of ammonium chloride, which just serves as a catalyst, you create the products N2, that's nitrogen gas, zinc oxide, that's ZNO, and water, H2O. Now, since this is an oxidation reduction reaction, it's important to note that the zinc is being oxidized, it's losing electrons, and that nitrate ion is being reduced, it's gaining electrons. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.